welcome back. Insights at the She Shed. I'm Julie Hess with Remax Suburban. Jamie Safransky, Remax Suburban. We're missing money in the middle here. She yeah. is at a closing today. Yeah, she's busy. She's a busy, busy girl. Lady. Well, we're always busy, but when we have the time, we love to come to you and we, give you some yes, tips. Yeah. So today, everything has to do with housing with us, right? right. Everything. And, and it's this, a little chilly out. Yeah, it's a little chilly today. But lots of sun. And it's going to warm up this weekend. Yeah. Okay, so you can still get out in the yard. Speaking of the yard, Jamie, what you yes. got there? Okay, so this weekend we're planning to pull apart the garden and I've got all sorts of herbs and stuff. If you have stuff that's still alive, what's a great thing to do? And you can see Julie, I have parsley in my hand and Julie did this did with my basil. basil. Well, I did it with my sage, my basil. Yes. So yeah. what you can do is ice cube tray. Ice cube tray. Now that's a, she'll talk about that one in a, has, in a, in a little, little bit. It's a little fancy. Any little but plastic regular, ice cube tray. Yes, yeah. regular ice cube tray, olive oil and cut up herbs and then you can freeze it and right. then you just dump it into sauces later on her basil one like she my puts basil I, yeah i've actually chopped in the winter i have chopped fresh tomato and added my basil that i froze in olive oil which is yeah obviously awesome and it turns out really nice and it looks good it doesn't turn brown like this you can see it's still kind of green yep even when you freeze it we're gonna have to get this back in the freezer totally right? before but you could do it but with yeah. any herb yeah you could do it with any herb and then yes. Or if, or if, like I have a few poblanos left, I'm probably going to take those out. Yeah. You just slice them up, pull the seeds out, and I just freeze them, and then I just add them to chili. My husband likes to make burritos. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I was going to say, and uh, I don't know what else. You know, we like them too. Yeah. We like we <laughs> like spicy or else. Yeah. Okay. So here's one more, one more tip at you. Okay. The party season is upon us, and yeah. even if it's not, sometimes you go and you buy that bag of limes thinking you're going to use them, or that bag of lemons, and they start to go bad, and they get yep. like little brown spots. Yep. And you don't it, use them all. You don't use them all. And it's not the end of the world. You can, number one, you can um, save the, what do you call this? Right. <laughs> well, what do you do? What do you do to put them in your, in your, in your dishes and stuff? You know, little bits of them. What is that? What the heck? You use oh, a anyway. rasp or <laughs> something, and you can just... You know, shave off just the and green you can part. you can freeze that. But you yeah. can also freeze, the most important for me, is the juice inside. So you juice them. Again, little ice cube tray is your friend. You can freeze lime juice, orange juice, lemon juice. Yes. Any of these juices, you can freeze for three to four months in the freezer. No, the freezer is not, what does my brother say, a time capsule or something? No. But the freezer is good for months at a time. So there you are when you're making cocktails or a little something mock tails for your kids yep. or people who don't drink you've already got your juice ready to go yeah right and you haven't wasted you know in this economy right now we're trying not to be so yeah. wasteful yeah so shop around be frugal yes that's, that's really and it's a great for. way in the winter like if you've done that with the herbs to kind of liven up a dish and make it feel oh, a little bit totally yeah totally all right thanks for tuning in Bye. see you next we'll time see you next time i gotta hit my stop and i she's never know go. she's hitting stop